Dennis is on the bench getting a breather. Michael Woods. Motion offense, tough to defend. Don't let the cutters cut across your face. Don't trail cutters through the lane. Help side is the toughest spot right here when you're defending this type of offense. Kraft needs to concentrate. Finally, the foul is called on Percy Covington of VMI. You know, they go down, and East Tennessee State goes down to 15 seconds on a shot clock, forcing VMI to defend and defend, and that takes its toll on you. Fatigue factor could become a problem. Substitution into the BMI lineup, number 31, Lynn Mays. Good substitution by Coach Ignacio. Fresh legs to go back on the boards. Wings and Kraft have been a nice combination when they've been in there together. Box inbound, gear gets it into Mr. Jenny. We go under the 10 minute mark. Nice pass, Jennings to West for the layup. Alvin West sneaked in, got the layup on a great feed from Jennings, who may be very near to the Southern Conference tournament record for a sip. That's his sixth for this game. He needed 10 to tie. You break this pressure by East Tennessee State by setting some solid screens to help release your people to get open. Again, ball reversal is key. And West snuck in behind. Damon and got the steal and got the layup. Damon slipped on the other end and lost the handle for just a split second. And of course, the quickness of Alvin West, you can't do that, capitalizes with a strip and a score. Well, there's our Keller and Kraft matchup again. Turn around by Kraft is good. Kraft has been a factor today. He will have the advantage between the two of them on the offensive end. They go down low. Keller turns around and off the glass. Stan Keller answers for the Buccaneers. Point lead for the Bucks now. Time begins to dwindle down. 7:43. Covington shot is no good on the arm. Major Gear or Keith Jennings. Jennings got the foul. Again, Contapio can communicate from the bench. Doing the dead ball here for the free throw. Let's VMI rest. VMI also slows the tempo down of the game. As East Tennessee State would love to play 40 minutes without a timeout. And just run up and down at 94 feet. Keller's done a great job coming off the bench all tournament, hasn't he? He sure has. Dennis will come back in for Chad Keller. East Tennessee won some very, very big games during the year on the road. Beat Tennessee by 13 in Knoxville. One at North Carolina State. Played well other places. Won uh, going there 25 and 6 going into today's game. I think they should be in the NCAA tournament if they lose before they win the championship. You know, Having to make two. They got beat decisively at UCLA, but people would understand they were returning from Hawaii. Hawaii Blues, not many people win when you go out to the island. Tennessee leading by one, and we talked about Percy Covington, Jerry, being a real factor in the ball game. Well, and this half just, he is. There he just demonstrated he can score off the dribble and can also hit uncontested jump shots. Well, that one he was challenged, but the stationary jumper drops through as well. Dynamic trio for VMI. He's on the bench. Catapio resting him for the stretch run. Bucks by one, 7.42 to go. Rebounds the second half. East Tennessee has done a better job, but Greg Dennis has certainly been more effective on the boards. At 6.11, he should be. Major gear with it now. Kevin Johnson into VMI. Great move. Dennis got around Kraft. 
people thought Dennis was purely a perimeter player as the season went on. In this tournament, he demonstrates he can also score down in the paint. Kraft, offensive foul, that's four on Mark Kraft, and credit Dennis for the super job of getting position. Take a look at this on the baseline. Now, Kraft with the post up, catches it low, got contact. I give it half of an Emmy Award to the big guy, <laughs> and then Kraft doing a nice job of playing the bump and run. <laughs> give Kraft half the foul and give Supporting Dennis actor award right, on that sure. Also in number 43, Lewis Preston. Bucks have a three-point lead in the ball. Mark Kraft will sit out for a while, but he won't be out long because the time's beginning to escape VMI, 7.06. Getting into the bonus is going to be a factor, too. VMI 16 fouls, East Tennessee State with five. Alfred along the baseline, creates his shot, and gets the three-point opportunity on the foul by Lennon Ming. There's a look at the baseline. Stalford jump stop. His leaping ability allows him to hang. He goes, changes the shot in the air, and jumps with the right hand. Goes to the left. Now switches over to the left hand, right through the opening. Drops it in with the score. Does VMI have enough left to put together another run to come back? Well, as long as the Williams brothers are in there, I'd say they do. Stalford makes the three-point shot. It's a... Six point East Tennessee lead, 6.50 to go. They're running things out of the box is fast set because it's easier to get open and it gives you more screening opportunities. Percy Covington bangs in the 10 footer. When I said the Williams brothers, Percy may be a distant cousin. He might be. <laughs> He's taken it upon himself to keep VMI in it. He sure has, and it makes it easier for the Twins to get open. Dennis had his shot rejected by the freshman, Lewis Preston. One too many moves maybe there for Dennis. Lewis Preston has made many, many contributions, not only in the scorebook, but getting his hand on some key possessions. Big blocks, loose balls, stick backs. Dennis got the rebound off the key death miss. Just over six minutes to go. Isolate the big guy. Again, Dennis misses the shot. Fight for that ball. It goes out of bounds to East Tennessee. And Les Robinson says, let's talk about it. 5.55 to go. The first semifinal game, ETSU by four. And we'll be right back.